Vipso benedicator, hoc in sensum in cui est in recum et tu nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, our Father, whose Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in a wonderful sacrament, hath left unto us a memorial of his passion. Grant us so to venerate the sacred mysteries of his body and blood, that we may ever perceive within ourselves the fruit of his redemption, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Thanks be to God. Dominus sit in corde tuatum labiis tui sit pensiandum sanctum verbum dei per dominum nostrum is in Christum. Amen.
Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
and with thy spirit glory be to thee o lord Thank you. 
Praise be to thee, O Christ. Amen.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer.
hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, who hast given unto us thy servant's grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. We beseech thee that thou wouldest keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see thee in thy one and eternal glory, O Father who with the Son and the Holy Ghost livest and reignest one God forever and ever. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you unto everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Deus et benedictus Dei, quius latre, exivit sanguis et aqua. Nomini Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Suci pe sancto trinitas, hanc ablationem, quam ego indignus peccator, ferro in honore tua beati Maria, et omnium sanctorum tuam, pro peccati se defensi unibus meis, et pro salute divorum, et requie omnium fidelium defunctorum. And when patris et filii et spiritus sancti, except am sit omnipotenti dei hoc sacrificium novum.
Ambipso benedicatur Hawkins sed semen cuia sonora cum abitur nomine patri et filii et spiritu sancti. Amen. Thank you. Derogator ad te domine eratio mea, secret in sensum in conspictu tuum, gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, secret erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Derogator ad te domine eratio mea, secret in sensum in conspictu tuum, Pray, brothers and sisters, that this hour sacrifice may be acceptable unto the Lord our God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto Thee. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, because in the mystery of the Word made flesh Thou hast caused a new light to shine in our hearts to give the knowledge of Thy glory in the face of Thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying,
glory be to thee, almighty God, our heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that, his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, This, drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many, for, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, that we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. And now, as our Saviour Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Da propitious pachum in diebus nostri sut. Ope misericordia tu adjuti et apocato simus semper liberi et ab omni perturbationi securi periundum Christum dominum nostrum filium tuum. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Sacrosancta commixtur corporis et sanguis domini nostri Jesu Christi. Fiat mihi omnibus quae cementibus mentis et corporis et ad vitam eternum preparandum et capitandum preparatio salutaris periundum Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. body of our Lord Jesus Christ give it.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of Thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech Thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with Thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as Thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with Thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Please be seated. I guess it's the first announcements where I've dared to approach you. I'm rather excited about this. I'm, I'm staying back, don't worry. It's wonderful to welcome so many of you here tonight uh, for this Feast of Corpus Christi. The weather turned muggy and hot just in time. It wouldn't be Corpus Christi if it weren't slightly unbearable. Uh, but, um, but I'm so glad you turned out, and I'm so glad that those of you who are watching us on the live stream are, are with us as well. On Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, we will have the Office of the Dead on Zoom with special intention for Allison Howard Levy. And at 10.30, we will celebrate Solemn Mass of the Resurrection in church, um, in person, uh, and, uh, and uh, for, for Allison. And I hope you will join us for that service. Uh, the choir will be singing uh, some wonderful music, and it will be a wonderful chance for us to gather and, um, and say our prayers and, and remember Allison and be reminded of the promise of resurrection life. On Sunday, we'll be back as usual for uh, Solemn Mass at 11. Couple of things, starting with Allison's funeral. Uh, on the honor system, those of you who are vaccinated may sit with each other. Now that's the problem with all of these new rules. It's all on the honor system because no one's gonna ask you if you're vaccinated. So, but if you have friends in the congregation and you know that you are vaccinated, you may sit together. We will still be requiring masks for the foreseeable future, uh, especially since we will not, be, um, will not be asking for vaccination status. So we remain uh, a public place where, uh, where, where people from different households mix. And you know, it's, it's, it, we don't know who's vaccinated and who isn't. So we're gonna do our best to, uh, to keep everyone safe while uh, moving in the direction of, um, of, 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 well, it won't be normal because, you know, the things are changed, but moving in the direction of church that, that resembles uh, more, more what it was in the kind of fellowship that we had before this. So on Sunday, uh, on Sunday, we hope to have coffee hour outside on the steps, weather permitting. I think we're getting the rain over and done with. Wait, there's a verse about that. Anyway, um, we're getting the rain over and done with uh, tonight, and so hopefully Sunday we will be able to have coffee hour outside. And one last thing to look forward, look ahead to. After consultation and conversation and thoughts about how hot it gets, um, from July 4th through Labor Day weekend, we will be having mass not at 11, but at 10. But you'll get all of this in the, um, you'll get all of this in email form and it'll be on the website. But there's a, a bunch of, you know, little things that are moving and changing. So uh, be in touch with me if you have any questions or concerns and you are all, you'll all look for the emails that I hope will explain everything in uh, a bit more fully. I'll look forward to greeting you on the church steps after benediction.
Yes, absolutely. Thou gavest them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O God, who in a wonderful sacrament hast left unto us a memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood that we may ever perceive within ourselves the fruit of thy redemption, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end.
Blessed be God. Blessed be God's holy name. Blessed be God's holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus. Blessed be the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Blessed be the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. You stay down. For this, you go and stand there and swing facing the altar. And when I kneel, genuflect you, genuflect. We'll put it on. What? Dipso benedictor, hoc incense, and inclusion of the new patches, it's really a spiritual something. Amen.